Guys, in this video, we will learn how to make tax box autocomplete from the database. So let's get started with the example. So you can see that I already downloaded fresh Laravel application and also configured the database. So you can see here I already created some users as well. So we can use that one. So let me go here and create first controller. So let me go and make it clear and I will say PHP artist is Mac controller and I will say user controller. Okay now user controller is created now let me create one route over here so let me create route get and i will say users and then i will say user controller column column class and then i will simply call index method okay and simply save it and let me use the namespace over here so i will say user controller simply save it now let me go to the user controller over here so let me go here and create one index function over here okay and simply return view and i will say users okay simply save it and now let me go and create one blad file so i will say users dot blad dot php okay and we are using the bootstrap so i'm directly using this bootstrap and i will say ajax like laravel example and here I will create one form. So I will simply use the B form and create a form with the name. Okay. And I will say like ID will be the name. Simply save it and let's run it. Okay. So let me go and application run it. Okay. And now if I go here and go to the users route, you can see that with the text box. So what I want to do is like when I will type like a then it will be searched from the users table and coming as a autocomplete okay so we will use the ajax for it so let me go and use the jquery cdn for it so let me go and simply copy the cdn so I will copy it and also submit button right now I'm removing from here and simply add ajax over here okay now what I will do here I will write the script for it so let me go and here I will be do like uh, we have a name okay and if key up event will be call and function will be call on key up event okay and here first i will get the token so token and i will get from the input so i will say input and then i will say name underscore token will make it in single comma so i will say token dot well okay then i will say where and i will get the name okay so i will say like dollar and i will say this dot well okay simply say it. now i will write the ajax request on it so i will say ajax and then i will pass first i will add type so i will say post request and then i will say url so i will create the url and add over here and then i will pass the data so i will be pass underscore token colon underscore token variable and then i will say search and pass the name okay what we get and then on success okay i will say function and i will get the success response over here okay so simply response and i will simply display over here like console dot log and simply add the response simply save it okay and now let me create one route over here so i will simply create one route route and i will say post route and i will say users dot auto complete okay and i will use user controller colon colon class and i will create auto complete function okay and also i will give the route name as well so i will say users dot auto complete okay and simply save it now let me go here and create one function over here so i will save and i will create auto complete okay simply what i will do i will simply return user with query and i will write the where condition over here and i will say name and i will use like query so then i will say percentage percentage and i will pass what we pass the parameter so we pass the search parameter and then we just take the file record from there okay and simply get it okay and i will use that uh, over here so i will say okay 
user model okay simply save it okay and now simply i go it and simply copy the route name and add over here as a url so let me go here and give the route and paste it okay now let me see uh, what happens so if i go here and if i refresh it and let me also open the inspect element and console so i will say a then you can see that i got some result over here like say and uh, you can see that i got the result now what i what i mean i need to do here i need to display that result okay so let me go here and simply i will add one div over here so i will say div and i will give the like user list okay and here what i will do simply i will create one html and i will say like ul okay and i will add class to give like drop down menu and simply then i will be loop okay dot each loop of the re result so i will say response function and simply over here i will do like key and value so key and i will get the value so what i will do here at html html plus i will concat the string over here so let me just close it okay and i will say li and slash li and inside the li i will add a tag and i will say href will be just hash okay and here i will be add the class as well bootstrap class so i will say like drop down item and here i will be add the value value dot name so i just need to display the name at the end and then after html equal to html and then i will say plus i will simply end the ul okay so i simply go and ul save it okay and now at the end what i will do i will simply go here and i will add user list over here and then html i will pass what html we created simply add over here okay simply save it and now let's see if i refresh it over here and if i say yeah then you can see it's not coming here because of the overwriting css so let me go and write some css over here so i will say style and i will say drop down menu okay and i will say like display block and i will say position will be relative okay simply save it and refresh and now if i say yeah still not coming so if i go here and user list sorry it's class so we need to define as id so simply save it refresh it and if i go here you can see that it's coming properly over here and with the you can see that like hover event as well so now what we need to do when i click over here it should be fillable over here and remove this all the autocomplete so what i will do i will simply go here and write the click event for it so i will go here and i will say document on and i will say click event and based on dot drop down menu li and then i will say function so when i click on this l li tag then i will just get the text and add to the input okay so simply go here and i will say has name dot well and i will say dollar this dot text simply save it okay and then this ul list will be empty so i will simply copy and here will be the empty okay simply save it okay and now if i go here and refresh i will say a and hit you can see that and then you can see that h if i click you can see that so you can see that how it easy to add auto complete uh, uh, using the jquery and bootstrap so i hope guys enjoy this video and if you learn about this video then please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching